Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Vega Nuzlocke Let's Play. You might be wondering why I'm here in the middle of the ocean. It's because my team got destroyed and I'm desperate for encounters. And I'm pretty sure I can get an encounter on 509 that I never grabbed. So I'm going to bust out my fishing rod and get that going. But if you guys have enjoyed Vega, hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. You don't want to miss out as we are getting towards the good stuff. Seven badges, baby. And of course, if you really like what I do, you can pick up some sweet merch at TeamShiny.com. There's a link in the description below. We got some sweet merch. You can use code Arceus to get 15% off the deck out your closet. You're going to look amazing. So don't miss out. And there's a Weasel, so that didn't really help me. Another Kumpa, but I still have that guy. And a Shelter! So that's what I was hoping for. A new Pokemon Shelter. So let me grab this thing. And we got it. That was pretty easy. <laughs> All right, so we have Shelter, which means I could get Cloyster, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna name you Clampy, because we're you know we're in the end game, and if anyone's gonna save the day, it's gonna be Clampy. All right, Clampy, it's your time to evolve, Clampy. Let's go, yo. Clampy's about to be serious business. Okay, listen, I want y'all to type Clampy in the comments section below because I'm a believer. I'm a believer in Clampy, all right? I really do believe. I think this thing is about to be a beast, all right? I know our type diversity is very bad, and I'm going to show you guys our team. So I got Nido King here, which has Hustle. Oh, my God, I didn't realize he had Hustle. Uh, that's different in this game. I just evolved him. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's actually really bad. <laughs> We've got Ignacio. You already know about Ignacio. We got Shortcake, which did learn Quiver Dance, which is kind of busted. We've got Ted, too, here. With Intimidate and all of our HMs. Elsa uh, is modest nature, by the way, and has some really good stuff. Ice Beam, Blizzard, Icy Wind, Frostbite. We got an ice move for every occasion. And then Cloyster here, or Clampy, has Shell Armor, can't be crit, very physically bulky. Ice Beam, Shell Smash, Ice Shard, Wave Splash. So that's what we're working with, man. That's the team. Let me give him some items so I can get them all sorted. And then we're gonna we're gonna jump into things. Okay, so I gotta figure out where I actually get Waterfall, because I have no idea. Alright, I think it's this person right here. Yeah, Reginald internal left, and you've been sleeping on the job, and I get HM07. Yeah, you know, it's funny, because when I left this place, this is the place, the way you were supposed to leave. I guess I missed that item either way, but this was the way I was supposed to leave, and I just straight up, you know, kind of missed it. It's all good. Okay, I made it up the waterfall. I'm officially on Route 510. I gotta beat up some trainers and stuff. These should be pretty easy, as you can see. They're, like, level 40. Um, and I do get a new encounter on 510, which will hopefully be something good because I am in desperate need of more Pokemon. Uh, but again, these trainers are so easy. All right, we made it to Ice Island. Let's see. What? Oh, this guy just sells me stuff. Oh, he's got TM Poison Leaf. Oh, this is cool. Haze, Brick Break, Discharge. Okay, I'm definitely buying Discharge a few times. Um, I think Brick Break might be worth picking up. Very interested in Poison Leaf. And Magnet Bomb, I guess I'll grab one of. We're still on Route 510, but everyone calls this place Ice Island. Well, give me a new encounter here, please. Oh, give me a new rod. Oh, I have to come back after I get stronger. Okay. Disturb not the Guardian of Ice. And this is Ice Island's cave. All right, well, let's explore. i probably get a new encounter here, assuming there's Pokemon. But there also may be a Legendary. Yeah, there's definitely a new Pokemon here, so that's good. Disturb not the Guardian of Ice, the sign says. I feel like I'm headed towards the Guardian of Ice and I'm not supposed to disturb it. There it is, Articuno, baby. Okay, uh, let's think about this. It says, do not disturb the Guardian of Ice, but I feel like I need to disturb it because I kind of need to catch it. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm gonna disturb it and I know I'm not supposed to. So we just gotta do what we gotta do. Let's see it. Level 50, all right, uh, let's go for Psychic. And let's just like chip this thing down and then try to catch it. Um, I feel like I gotta catch it, man. It's a legendary bird, like how do I not? Psyche again, it's pretty low. And now I can energy ball. I got him right to red, perfect. Let's just start chucking Ultra Balls. Hey, I got him, let's go! Articuno has been caught. Okay, listen, I'll take it. Uh, I'm gonna name you, I, I really like Articuno. I'm gonna name you Blue Jay. I'm a big Articuno guy, so. It took me out of the cave immediately, so I guess that's a thing. Bashful Nature, Pressure, Ancient Power, Agility, Reflect, Ice Beam. Might be worth using, honestly. I'm not gonna lie that I'm definitely cheesing these legendaries. It does not matter to me. And my 510 encounter is actually a star you, so I'm gonna grab this too. I'll name you Misty. All right, I found a wild feel as well on route 511, so we're gonna try to catch this. That was easy enough. 
I'm gonna name you Roly Poly. And it seems as though we've made it to Fire Island. The Pokeball sell. Oh, this guy sells rare Pokeballs. I wish I knew about that. He's got repeat ball. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some timer balls. I just stocked up on so many Pokeballs. Uh, I'll grab a few net balls. I'll grab. Honestly, those are the main ones that are worthwhile, like timer balls. Disturb not the guardian of fire. Well, listen, I'm sorry, but if you think I'm gonna come here and not catch the guardian of fire, I don't know what to tell you. And this guy, a team DH guy. This guy's going to New Island. All right, well, let's go catch the Guardian of Fire, because why not? Oh, Mornwing! Okay, so I got to catch this. So technically, Moltres is a static encounter, which means we always get to catch it. But I got to catch this guy, because I really want this dude on my team. That was really easy. And it's the Odd Bird Pokemon. It's Ferocious Vigilance. It's second greatest strength. It often attacks the second it sees another Pokemon. I'm really excited about this guy. Um, I'm gonna name you Phoenix because I I'm gonna name you Fox because I feel like you're kind of like a Phoenix This guy's sick, dude. I feel like these encounters are big for us I should probably go back to Ice Island as well and grab a non-static encounter, too. I'll definitely do that We need all the encounters we can get at this point point. and there is the fire Pokemon Moltres, so let's catch this thing as well level 50 same deal um, I think I just drain punched a few times. He has air slash. That's a problem Um, I have to weaken this thing without getting destroyed. So let me figure that out And I actually called the Moltres took a while, but speaking of Pokemon that should be nicknamed Fox we got uh, Moltres here, but I'm gonna name him Hmm, I'm gonna name him Buffalo cuz you already know I love me some Buffalo wings Calm nature with flame body is really good and then this thing has flame body and quirky nature fire flying So we just got two fire flyings um, and then we got natural cure and what about you all of a sudden our box actually has Pokemon in it again and think fat Which I'll take you aren't you Andrew? I can't believe I'm meeting you in a place like this Oh, well, we're on Thunder Island now and this guy sells berries Anything good? Not really dude. I mean I'll grab a few lum berries because they're cheaper than full heals I guess I'll grab some citrus berries just because these are super cheap. All right, let's explore lightning island I definitely need an encounter. So hopefully there's some good electric types Oh, I could get the Machu Pokemon. All right, I'll see what else is here, but Machu might actually be the play. That's the Pikachu evolution in this game. If you get happiness, uh, Madness Zone could be really good too. I'll have to see what else I could find, but I really could use a couple of Electro types. And this might honestly be kind of the last time in the game that I have an opportunity to get, you know, Pokemon. There's probably not too many routes left, so. All right, I decided to go with Pikachu because I feel like. I feel like electro types are good and if I can get its new evolution it might actually be solid so I'm gonna name you Sparky the Pikachu let's get it and here is Zapdos all right let's do it Zappy Bird Zapdos is good so I'm excited for this one I just gotta catch him oh that's perfect I brought him down to like one HP right away all right Ultra Ball do my do your thing oh my god that was the easiest of all of them let's go and I caught all three legendary birds and I'm gonna name you Lumen Actually, I'll, just, I'll go with Lux. Lux is cool. All right, I've caught all three of the birds, so I guess I'll go... I gotta look at the map and see where I'm supposed to go, actually. Yeah, so it looks like, like I go back to Ice Island now. And I found a Rhyhorn in Ice Island, so I've got pretty much all the other ice types, so I'm gonna grab this thing. Shaboy the Juggernaut! So all of a sudden, I actually have a PC of Pokemon again. I mean, that's pretty nuts. I've got Sparky, which is bold nature, kind of bad. Interesting though Lux the Zapdos is careful nature. This thing is probably worth using um, I mean, I actually feel like I should probably restructure the team a little bit I do want to press onward just a wee bit just to kind of see what's up ahead But I think for the next episode I'll take the time to grind because I already spent a lot of time grinding on this one And we made it all the way to New Island, which seems like a whole new town here. We can actually heal up I'll talk to everybody in the town see what's going on and uh, oh Mewtwo took over the gym and turned it into a castle. Okay. Yep. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to deal with with Mewtwo Yeah, that's gonna be a doozy. Oh, uh, well, they're pretty huddled up there um, Yeah, we'll have to figure out what that is When will I come back brick brother? I'm not your brother. I don't know who you are kid. All right. What's going on here people? What are you guys doing? Everyone's lined up so I decided to get in line too. How do, how do I get through then? Oh, the Turner's not even there? Wait, the Mewtwo's not even there? This is like the place to be, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Out of my way. Oh, they cleared the space for me. Thank you. I feel like I should try. Oh, man, it's just the gym. 
Mewtwo's taking over the gym and it's all Team DH's fault. Save us from Mewtwo, we're all counting on you. Oh boy. And there's like a Pikachu there. I don't know how ready I am to actually fight Mewtwo though. Can I be honest? I feel like I need to train up a little bit. I mean, I guess I'll see if there's any trainers. So far, I don't, there's a lot of gym, like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it is just Mewtwo chilling there too. He's just, that's the gym leader. That's it right there. I mean, I think I am actually gonna just face him if I have my team. I mean, I have a team. It's just, is this a team that's gonna be good against Mewtwo if he actually is Mewtwo? Like, I have no idea, to be honest. Okay, I made it to this Pikachu that looks hungry. <laughs> that doesn't help me much. All right, it's time to throw down against the gym leader. Who am I? I never asked to be created, but why was I brought into this world? Was it solely to do battle? Humans now are just the same as humans back then. They always serve themselves without thinking of others. And now they have created a Pokemon from a human to serve their own selfish goals. But artificial beings such as myself and Aldina renounce the name Pokemon. We are deeply disappointed in you humans. Should humans really dominate this planet or should creatures like myself? I shall attempt your way of doing things, a Pokemon battle. This battle is not a, an attack, nor it is a declaration of war. It is simply a strike back at the humans who created me. All right, Mewtwo, let's get it. Oh, he's armored Mewtwo, man. Oh boy. He's gonna lead off with a Pikachu. That looks a little different. Level 63, okay. I get Intimidate off and I'm just gonna go for Drain Punch. He goes for Wave Splash. Okay, I should definitely live a Wave Splash. So the key here is I think Drain Punch should one shot because I'm Choice Banded. Do I get to heal it all back with Drain Punch? Because if I can get away with this, be full health, not get paralyzed from a potential static, we're in really good shape here. That does one shot. I'm almost full health, no static. No static, please. I get static. Okay, well that's annoying, but it is what it is. All right, what's next? What is next? It is a Scyther. Okay. Um. What do I want to do against Scyther? I don't really have the best answers. Clampy's probably my best answer for Scyther. Yeah, I think I gotta go Clampy. I think I gotta go Clampy here. Let's see what Scyther's gonna do. He's gonna go for Brave Bird, dog. How much does that do? Does about half? Does he go for another Brave Bird? I think I gotta get an Intimidate off with Ted, but I'm worried he's gonna go for Brave Bird again, dude. I need the Intimidate. I, I get wrecked by this thing otherwise. I need Intimidate. He goes for Grand Boulder. Okay. Doesn't do very much. Okay, so I feel like he's gonna wanna go for Brave Bird again. So I think Clampy could live it and then I heal off the Brave Bird. I think that's what I gotta do. Clampy, he Brave Birds. I should be able to live one now that he's intimidated. And then I heal it all off. Okay. I get a little leftovers. Let's heal this off. Okay, I'm all the way healed up. Let's see what he does. He goes for Brave Bird again. Okay. If I can effectively get off a Shell Smash here, I could potentially win, but I don't know if I live a Grand Boulder, but I think I have to go for it. So I'm clicking Shell Smash. He goes for Grand Boulder. Can I live this? Okay, I get my Shell Smash off. This is huge. This is huge. Because now I'm sitting at plus two special attack, plus two attack, and I can, in theory, one shot a lot of things. Let's go for Ice Beam. Okay, this definitely one shots. He could be Eviolate, I guess. But I don't think he lives plus two. No, okay, Clampy doing its thing. Let's go, Clampy. Let's get it, Clampy. All right, sitting at plus two. Here comes Charizard. That's the Charizard with the painting on it. That's sick. Okay, Clampy, you got a wave splash. You got to not miss. Big wave splash. Here we go, Clampy. I knew Clampy was gonna be big. I knew it was gonna be big. I knew Clampy was gonna be big, baby. Let's go, Clampy! Does he have Blastoise Venusaur too? Tell him he's got Blastoise Venusaur too. Venusaur. Yo, that's actually perfect that he went Venusaur next because I can Ice Beam it. It looks so cool, dude. It actually looks so cool. I think Ice Beam one shots. Clampy, get your brooms! Get your brooms out for Clampy! Let's go, Clampy! Okay, we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> we're not out of the woods yet. 
Um, if it's Blastoise, I gotta switch. It is Blastoise. Okay, I obviously have to switch because I can't one-shot him. So what's my play here? I feel like Ignacio is solid. I feel like Shortcake is 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 a win. But I cannot risk going into Shortcake right out the gates because if he goes for a move that's super effective, like an Ice Beam or something, I don't see him going for Ice Beam. But if he goes for like a fighting move, I don't think Shortcake's living. Like Shortcake wins this for me. So I think the play here is I go Ignacio. Which could mean I lose Ignacio. He goes for Toxic Spray. Yeah, I had to switch. It was a good thing I switched. Oh my god, dude. What is my switch into that? I gotta sack something? So it's like, what's my sack? I have to sack something. So do I sack Reptar or do I sack, sack Ignacio here? Ignacio's been with the squad for so long, dude. I'm gonna go for the Drain Punch and hope for the best. I'm faster. This is big because it sets us up with a little bit of damage so that way I definitely win this fight. That, th dude, honestly, I got so lucky that I didn't go into Blastoise first. He goes for Hydro Pump. I wonder if I live after the Drain Punch damage. I do! Ignacio lives to see another day! Does he Hydro Pump again? Oh, it's so risky. I want to go Shortcake. Maybe I go Elsa and I go for Energy Ball. Like, Elsa can live a hit. I think. I'm going to go Elsa. The situation changed a little bit. He goes for Earth Power. Ah, dude, if I had made the right switch, we would have been in a great spot. But honestly, uh, he gets the special defense drop. So now the question is, do I one shot with Energy Ball? I don't think I do. But I feel like it's worth. I feel like it's worth. I might lose Elsa, but I just got an Articuno, so it is what it is. I have to lose something here. Yeah, I got to lose something. Maybe he missed his Hydro Pump. Maybe he missed his Hydro Pump. Maybe he misses Hydro Pump. He doesn't miss Hydro Pump. He doesn't miss it. The special defense drop means I definitely go down. I'm sorry, Elsa. You did great, though. You really did great. But luckily, Shortcake comes in and wins with Giga Drain. He's going to heal. But Giga Drain's a two-shot, so it shouldn't matter. Yep. Giga Drain. Finish it off, Shortcake. Let's go. My little strawberry's been on the team for so long. Holding it down. Getting us a big W. And we got our eighth gym badge against Mewtwo. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. Ignacio lives another day. I did lose Elsa, though. By the rules of the New Island Gym, by the rules I have set myself, I give you the Maroc badge. And we have all eight badges now, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. I am grateful that you have freed me from this armor. I still do not trust humans. On the other hand, there are some humans like you. TM50. Let me ask, why did you help me? I was on an amp rampage and I attacked you, yet you still helped someone like me. There was no reason. You simply helped me because I was suffering. You are truly a strange human. I now fully understand why Aldina put so much trust in a human like you. We are all in some way created. It doesn't matter whether one was born naturally or merely cloned. Our hearts both beat and blood flows through our veins. All life is present in the same world. But can we clones exist in the same world as our originals? The answer to that is not yet apparent. Your words and deeds have lightened my heavy heart just a bit. Thank you for that. Okay, well this is where I'm gonna wrap up. I got a great box of Pokemon to train up and get the team set up for the next episode. This took a long time to get this episode done with all the grinding, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button down below and of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Don't forget to check out TeamShiny.com for our epic Team Shiny merch. And that's gonna be that for me guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drop and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Vega. Peace.